one of the present generally conspicuous and high-level physicists, has communicated his assessment with regards to this issue. Michio Kaku, perceived for his exceptional commitment to the fields of physical science, has as of late affirmed that the James World Space Telescope has found six huge worlds that researchers thought couldn't exist. These examinations can possibly open up new aspects in our logical comprehension of the universe. It is subsequently astonishing and worth keeping an eye on these improvements. M. Kaku is a remarkable figure in the logical field. A physicist of American and Japanese Warren, he is thought of as a master in both old-style test material science and quantum mechanics. Not at all like some more moderate and incredulous researchers, Kaku doesn't have a place with that bunch and has been responsive to the astonishing aftereffects of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. We are more than happy that this recognized researcher has chosen to end his quiet and openly share what can never again be denied. The excitement and nearly entertained tone of the famous Stell physicist are apparent in his remarks on the revelation made by the James Webb Space Telescope, communicating that this has been the feature that has aroused his curiosity. Go along with us to find the ramifications of Misho Kaku's disclosure of these six monstrous worlds. Misho Kaku is a researcher who has consistently been willing to think about new hypotheses all through his life. He knows that Einstein's conditions of relativity and Newton's regulations are lacking to catch the full intricacy of the universe. Kaku comprehends that the revelations of the new telescope have the possibility to improve the logical field. Albeit a considerable lot of his partners have not had the option to take on this view, it is creating concern and a sleeping disorder among the defenders and adversaries of quantum mechanics. Anyway, this just incites giggling from M. Kaku. The JW Space Telescope has uncovered the disclosure of six gigantic worlds dating back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Every one of these worlds contains a larger number of stars than our own Milky Way, notwithstanding having shaped simply 200 to 700 million years after the enormous detonation. The group of stargazers who have made the disclosure has named these outstanding systems universe breakers, since they affirmed they would upset our entire comprehension of the universe. Something doesn't fit here any longer. The large F hypothesis lets us know that the universe was a train wreck after the underlying occasion. The main strong articles took many millennia to frame, and it took countless extra years for the items to reach adequate thickness and produce light. The arrangement of complicated designs, for example, universe, was expected to happen a lot later. A portion of the newfound worlds surpassed the Milky Way in size, and their massive radiance demonstrates that they were most likely framing many new stars every year, while our cosmic system structures stars just inconsistently. It stays uncertain precisely when the primary universe is framed. Analysts have not had the option to decide this up until this point. The main thing that is clear is that at first, there may just have been single stars or gatherings of stars which ultimately joined together to shape increasingly large growths until Bantam worlds fostered. The little cosmic systems experienced different universes and gradually developed. As per past hypotheses, exceptionally coordinated and enormous worlds could not have existed around then, which raises whether or not the universe is a lot more seasoned than previously accepted or whether complex toroidal cosmic arrangements grew significantly sooner. This situation is challenging to acknowledge for moderate science, which still finds issues with this model, and some parts of material science intensely decline to acknowledge this revelation and question potential blunders in the age computations. M. Kaku knew about this and had this to say, There are numerous instances of old and misleading speculations that determinately continue in view of the renown of some researchers. Large numbers of these speculations were possibly disparaged when a vital explorer uncovered their lie. Subsequently, the critical work in any science, particularly in physical science, rests with the experimentalists who keep the scholars legit. As a matter of fact, on Earth, we have barely any insight into the valid starting points of the universe. The enormous detonation hypothesis was laid out in 1927 in light of perceptions of the extension of the universe. These information prompted the end that the universe began from a solitary point and has been growing from that point forward. At the time, it was challenging for individuals and researchers to consider a universe with a start and an end. The possibility of a universe that had consistently existed and was endless in reality was past individuals' creative mind. And even today, researchers still face challenges in understanding it. 
Anyway, it is essential to consider the these probabilities. Indeed, these new showings don't fit by any means with what specialists have based for a very long time on the theory of how things came to be. Anyway, science has shown time and again that reassessment and receptiveness to new thoughts are a necessary piece of the logical cycle, similar to the affirmation of specific speculations and perceptions. When Einstein was a kid, the fact that the stars and makes it trusted planets were immovably fixed in the universe, and that these specific structures consumed a characterized space. Anyway, we now know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets circle stars, and entire galaxies move inside their cosmic systems at many kilometers each second, and whole cosmic systems move quickly through the universe, the destiny of which we can't yet even predict. Today, researchers are tested to acknowledge awkward insights and to grasp that hypotheses are not just estimates and not absolute bits of insight until they are thoroughly tested or affirmed by exact perceptions. The possibility of the enormous detonation emerged from the acknowledgement that systems are moving away from one another, and this distance is corresponding to the distance to Earth. This perception, known as Hubble's regulation, recommended that the universe was extending. For quite a while, elements such as vast foundation radiation and the redshift of light from far-off cosmic systems and other cosmological designs appeared to help this hypothesis. Anyway, it is vital to recollect that before, individuals who accepted that the Earth was level and that the Sun spun around us likewise had this supposed proof for their presumptions until incident or innovative enhancements went along that prov provided a clearer, more precise picture. Right now, we are seeing a comparable circumstance. Researchers expected the new JWST to affirm the suppositions connected with the Big Bang, yet rather, they have come across these six worlds that seemed unthinkable. This advises us that science is continually developing and that scientists should be available to new disclosures and re-examine existing hypotheses in view of the accessible proof. Specialists use redshift as a device to decide specific amounts in the investigation of the universe. Redshift, likewise known as the Doppler impact, alludes to the change in the shade of light as the light sources or the observer move comparative with one another. To comprehend this, you can envision stopping and seeing a vehicle coming towards you. As the vehicle moves towards you, you hear the sound of the motor getting louder. However, when the vehicle passes you or moves away from you, the motor changes. This is because the motor differs as the vehicle moves. The equivalent is valid for light. When a light source, for example, a far-off star moves towards us, the light we see shifts towards bluer tones. On the other hand, when the light source gets away from us, the light moves towards red. Tints. This peculiarity is called redshift. Physicists have changed over redshift values into speeds and distances for estimation in the investigation of the universe. Anyway, it is essential to take note of that little blunders in these estimations could have massive impacts. The estimation procedures recently utilized are currently under audit, and it is fascinating to see what results researchers will show up at that with respect to the most recent exhibitions connected with our universe. It is important to consider whether they are truly based on redshift blunders or whether some researchers are basically denying current realities. This is an inquiry that requires thorough investigation and cautious survey of the information and approaches utilized in the research. Much thanks for watching the video. As consistently, we remind you that you can post your questions in the remarks box. Assuming you like the video, do not neglect to stir things up around town button share it so it contacts more individuals and buy into the feed so you don't miss more satisfied like this. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. A prominent physicist, Michio Kaku, has recently commented on a significant discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope has identified six massive galaxies that were previously thought to be impossible. These findings have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, prompting excitement and interest in scientific circles. Kaku, known for his expertise in both classical and quantum physics, has welcomed the telescope's revelations, diverging from more skeptical viewpoints within the scientific community. His enthusiasm for the discovery reflects a broader excitement within the field. The discovery of these enormous galaxies challenges existing theories about the early universe's formation. Some scientists question whether the universe may be older than previously believed, or if complex cosmic structures emerged much earlier than expected. However, 
Kaku emphasizes the importance of remaining open to new ideas and reevaluating established theories in light of new evidence. The concept of the Big Bang theory has evolved over time, much like our understanding of the universe's dynamics. Redshift, a phenomenon used by scientists to measure distances and velocities in space, is under scrutiny, highlighting the need for careful analysis of observational data. The video concludes by inviting further discussion and questions from viewers, emphasizing the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry and the importance of remaining open-minded to new discoveries. A renowned physicist, Michio Kaku, recently shared his thoughts on a groundbreaking revelation unveiled by the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope has detected six massive galaxies that were previously deemed implausible by scientists. These findings have the potential to completely transform our comprehension of the universe, sparking excitement and intense interest within scientific circles. Kaku, well known for his expertise in both classical and quantum physics, has warmly welcomed the telescope's discoveries, departing from more skeptical stances held by some in the scientific community. His enthusiasm for these discoveries reflects a broader sense of excitement within the field. The identification of these colossal galaxies challenges established theories regarding the formation of the early universe. Some scientists are now questioning whether our understanding of the universe's age needs revision, or if intricate cosmic structures emerged much earlier than previously thought. However, Kaku stresses the importance of maintaining an open mind towards new concepts and reassessing established theories in light of fresh evidence. The notion of the Big Bang theory has evolved over time, mirroring our evolving understanding of the universe's dynamics. Redshift, a phenomenon utilized by scientists to gauge distances and velocities in space, is currently under scrutiny, highlighting the necessity for meticulous analysis of observational data. The video concludes by encouraging further discussion and inviting questions from viewers, emphasizing the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of scientific inquiry. It stresses the significance of remaining receptive to new discoveries and the importance of critically evaluating existing theories in the pursuit of knowledge.